Well, it's the time of year we all dread. The IRS will begin accepting taxes on your income tax in barely two weeks on January 31st. Now, Samantha Galvez tells us there are plenty of things you can do to get ahead of that April 15th deadline. It can be a stressful time for many of us, but if you remember to dot your I's and cross your T's, it should be a piece of cake. It's time now for gathering of records, so it'd be a good time for people to be getting together, especially if they have any kind of small business, all of their income and expenses for the year, to summarize those for us, for us to do their tax returns. Bill Kerwin, owner and CPA of St. Clair and Associates of Pottsville, is busy this time of year making sure you get back all of the money you are entitled to. The better you are prepared when you come into the office, the easier the procedure is. So uh, if everybody has all of their ducks in a row, it's a lot easier for us and, of course, then more efficient and less expensive for them. But for those of us who don't see an accountant, tax forms should include dependents, address information, names and refunds, and it's important to know what changes are being made for this tax season. Of course, the tax rates have changed a little bit. The brackets change every year. The dollars, uh, the deductions, the standard deduction changes every year. Bill says that outside of being organized, one of the most important things to remember is when investments were sold, whether it be a stock or a mutual fund. Uh, we need to know when it was purchased and how much you paid for it. So that's something you need to get together in advance. But there is one thing people should be thinking about that could affect them one year from now. Under the Affordable Care Act, everybody's required to have insurance. So if you don't have health insurance through your employer, uh, you must be covered by a health insurance program for at least nine months out of the 12 months of 2014, or come this time next year, you'll be paying a penalty. He says to keep careful records and hang on to them for at least three years after filing your return. Just be careful and make sure you get it right. File as soon as you can. The sooner you file, the sooner you get that refund. The IRS can audit returns three years after they are filed, but if fraud is suspected, it can be up to six years. Samantha Galvez, News 13, Pottsville.